Dear friends in Christ, on this most holy night, when our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life, the Church invites her children throughout the world to come together in vigil and in prayer. This is the Passover of the Lord. If we honour the memory of his death and resurrection, by hearing his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we may be confident that we shall share his victory over death and live with him forever in God. Let us pray. Father, we share in the light of your glory, through your Son, the light of the world. Make this new fire holy and inflame us with new hope. Purify our minds by this Easter celebration and bring us one day to the feast of eternal light. Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. To him be glory and power through every age, forever and ever. Amen. By his holy and glorious wounds, may Christ our Lord guide us and keep us. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, the light of the world, may your flame always enlighten our lives. May we follow you in its warmth and protection. We ask this, Christ our Lord. Amen. Would you now please like to proceed me back into the church.
Sing chorus of angels. Exult all creation around God's throne. Jesus Christ our King is risen. Sound the trumpet of salvation. Rejoice, O earth, in shining splendor, radiant in the brightness of your King. Christ has conquered, glory fills you, darkness vanishes forever. Rejoice, O Mother Church, exult in glory, the risen Saviour shines upon you. Let this place resound with joy, echoing the mighty song of all God's people. My dearest friends, standing with me in this holy light, join me in asking God for mercy, so that he may give his unworthy minister grace to sing his Easter praises. The Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just that with full hearts and minds and voices we should praise the unseen God, the all-powerful Father, and His only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For Christ has ransomed us with His blood and paid for us the price of Adam's sin to our eternal Father. This is our Passover feast, and Christ, the true Lamb, is slain whose blood consecrates the homes of all believers. This is the night when first you saved our fathers, you freed the people of Israel from their slavery, and led them dry shod through the sea. This is the night when the pillar of fire destroyed the darkness of sin. This is the night when Christians everywhere washed clean from sin and freed from all defilement, are restored to grace and grow together in holiness. This is the night when Jesus Christ broke the chains of death and rose triumphant from the grave. What good would life have been to us had Christ not come as our Redeemer? Father, how wonderful your care for us, how boundless your merciful love. To ransom a slave, you gave away your son. O happy fault, O necessary sin of Adam, which gained for us so great a Redeemer. Most blessed of all nights, chosen by God to see Christ rising from the dead. Of this night, Scripture says, the night will be clear as day. It will become my light, my joy. The power of this holy night dispels all evil, washes guilt away, restores lost innocence, brings mourners joy. It casts out hatred, brings us peace, and humbles earthly pride. Night truly blessed, when heaven is wedded to earth, and we are once again reconciled with God. Therefore, Heavenly Father, in the joy of this night, receive our evening sacrifice of praise, your Church's solemn honour. Accept this Easter candle, a flame divided but in dim, a pillar of fire that glows to the honour of God. Let it mingle with the lights of heaven and continue bravely burning to dispel the darkness of this night. May the morning star which never sets find this flame still burning. Christ, that morning star, who came back from the dead, and share his peaceful light on our race. Your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let's sit now for the liturgy of the readings and songs. Of the sea, the birds of heaven, the cattle, all the wild beasts, 
and all the reptiles that crawl upon the earth. God created man in the image of, him, of himself. In the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. God bless them, children. Be fruitful, multiply. Fill the earth and concrete. Be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, and all living animals on the earth. God said, See, I give you all the seed bearing plants that are upon the whole earth, and all the trees with seed bearing fruit. This shall be your food. To all wild beasts, all birds of heaven, and all living reptiles on the earth, I give all the foliage of plants for food. And so it was. God saw all he had made, and indeed it was very good. The word of the Lord. in wonderful beauty and order. Help us now to perceive how still more wonderful is the new creation by which in the fullness of time you redeemed your people through the sacrifice of our Passover, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. Abraham, Abraham, he called. Here I am, he replied. Take your son, God said, your only child Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him as a burnt offering on a mountain I will point out to you. When they arrived at the place God had pointed out to him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood. Then he stretched out his hand and seized a knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven. Abraham, Abraham, he said, I'm here, he replied. Do not raise your hand against the boy, the angel said. Do not harm him. For now I know you fear God. You have not refused me your son, your only son. Then looking up, Abraham saw a ram caught by its horns in a bush. Abraham took the ram and offered it as a burnt offering in place of his son. 
Danger to Lord called Abraham a second time from heaven. I swear by my own self, it is the Lord who speaks. Because you have done this, because you have not refused me in your son, your only son, I will show blessings on you. I will make your descendants as many as the stars of heaven and the grains of sand on the seashore. Your descendants shall be in possession of the gates of their enemies. All the nations of the earth shall bless themselves by your descendants as a reward for your obedience. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and as day broke, 
the sea returned to its bed. The fleeing Egyptians marched right into it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the very middle of the sea. The returning waters overwhelmed the chariots and the horsemen of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them was left. But the sons of Israel had marched through the sea on dry ground, walls of water to right and to left of them. That day, the Lord rescued Israel from the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shore. Israel witnessed the great act that the Lord had performed against the Egyptians, and the people venerated the Lord. They put their faith in the Lord and in Moses, his servant. It was then that Moses and the sons of Israel sang this song in honour of the Lord. slavery and now you offer that salvation to all through baptism. May the peoples of the world become true sons of Abraham and prove worthy of the heritage of Israel. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Enliven the spirit of worship in your church, 
Renew us in mind and body to give you wholehearted service. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized in his death. In other words, when we were baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. If in union with Christ, we have imitated his death, we shall also imitate him in his resurrection. We must realize that our former selves have been crucified with him to destroy the sinful body and to free us from the slavery of sin. When a man dies, of course, he has finished with sin. But we believe that having died with Christ, we shall return to life with him. Christ, as we know, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him anymore. When he died, he died once and for all to sin, so that his life now is life with God. And in that way, you too must consider yourselves to be dead to sin, but alive for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Suddenly appeared at their side. 
Terrified, the women lowered their eyes. The two men said to them, Why look among the dead for someone who is alive? He is not here. He is risen. Remember what he told you when he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man had to be handed over into the power of sinful men and be crucified and rise again on the third day. And they remembered his words. When the women returned from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the others. The women were Mary of Magdala, Joanna, and Mary, the mother of James. The other women with them also told the apostles, but this story of theirs seemed pure nonsense. They did not believe it. Peter, however, went running to the tomb. He bent down and saw the binding cloths, but nothing else. He then went back home, amazed at what had happened. This is the Gospel of our Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Words are superfluous because we're talking about facts. Witness facts. What do you know me by now? Tiny little historical. Women were not thought of as reliable witnesses. Women could not testify as witnesses to any event in courts of law throughout the Roman Empire. And who are the first ones God in his incredible wisdom chose to be witnesses? The women. It was the women who told the men. And the women, beginning with Our Lady, made it all possible. The men get remembered. Peter, James, John, even Judas Iscariot. But without all the women whose names haven't come down, Christianity would never go off the ground. We continue our liturgy now with the blessing of the baptismal water and the affirmation of our baptismal vow. Lord Jesus Christ, by your grace, bless this font where your children will be reborn. Jesus, Son of the living God, hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Father, you give us grace through sacramental signs which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, you use your gift of water, which you've made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your Spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples to go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for her the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Spirit, give to the water of this font the grace of your Son. 
you created the human race in your own likeness, cleanse us from sin in a new birth of innocence by water and the Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My friends, do you reject sin so to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? I do. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and of earth? I do. do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. The God of power and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed us from sin and brought us to new life through water and the Holy Spirit. Let's praise his name for his bountiful grace. We now follow with the bidding prayers. We pray that those baptized around the world this Easter may always walk in the light of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, in your we pray that all Christians who celebrate the resurrection tonight may live in hope and love. Lord, in your mercy, in your we pray that we may have peace in our world and enter terror and enter the unjust war in the Ukraine. Lord, in your mercy, we pray that refugees in need of support and love may experience God's care through us. Lord, in your mercy, we pray that people who are hungry in a world of plenty may receive the help they need. Lord, in your mercy, Amen. we pray that all those still suffering around the world because of COVID will get better and that we finally see an end to this pandemic. Lord, in your mercy, we bow our heads now and remember in silence our own personal intentions and the intentions of those who've asked for our prayers. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. Let's ask our Lady to bring us peace, to pray with us and for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sins now, and in our Amen. We make these and all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given our human hands of made. It will become for us the bread of life. And the mystery of this water and wine. May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my many iniquities, cleanse me from my sins. Let's pray, my friends, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. Lord, accept the prayers and offerings of your people. With your help, may this Easter mystery of our redemption bring to perfection the saving work you have begun in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks to our Lord Jesus Christ. We praise you with greater joy than ever on this Easter night when Christ became our Paschal sacrifice. He is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death. By rising, he restored our life. And so, with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in the unending hymn of praise. the scriptures and breaks the bread. 
and soul, most loving and holy Father. We ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit, sanctify these gifts of the bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more he gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Dying in the new Son of rise in the new Son of Lord Jesus, in the coming glory. And so, most loving and holy Father, as we celebrate this memorial of Christ your Son, our Saviour, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, whom you seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favour on the offering of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love we may be counted now and unto the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to a table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope, Malcolm our Bishop, and all your priestly people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our sisters and brothers, who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Apostles and martyrs, with St. Paul of the Cross, St. Joseph and all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father. And 
so we have his encouragement to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And we lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our days, so that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will. You who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's give each other a sign of this peace. Lamb of God, he can take away the sins of the world, and have this right. Lamb of God, he can take away the sins of the world, and have this right. Lamb of God, he can take away the sins of the world, and have this right. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that he should have to my name, but on this day the word of my soul shall be me.
vacuum, Mike. That was lovely. Let us pray. <laughs> Lord, you have nourished us with your Easter sacraments. Fill us with your spirit and make us one in peace and in love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. May the risen Christ bless and protect you now and always. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia.
bless everyone, and God bless to our virtual parishioners as well. <laughs>